stop posting boring content because you're scaring off your ideal customers. <laughs> I know you're probably thinking, Star, okay, but I don't know what I should post. Don't worry about it because I got you with a social media strategy for short-term rental businesses plus five content ideas coming right your way. Today, we're covering five content ideas for short-term rental business. But first, we're gonna cover three habits hurting your content, how to fix bad content, and lastly, five content ideas for your reels and for your TikToks. If you haven't already, like this video so we can reach more entrepreneurs just like you and subscribe for content strategy tips for your reels and your TikToks. Are your videos bad-mouthing you? When people are on social media and they're coming across your content, is your content speaking good about you or speaking bad about you? So let's dive into this a little bit. If your videos are dark, guess what your videos are actually saying to the people who are coming to your page? I have no knowledge, don't come my way and I won't be able to help you. Lights represent Welcome, when someone's walking into a new home, it's nice, bright, and light, and it's inviting. So if you have dark videos, instead of you inviting your ideal customers, you're actually pushing them away. So you wanna make sure that your videos are nicely lit. And you can do that by actually getting lighting equipment for your videos that's gonna work for you. So you can check out this link up here. This is where I'm showing you how to create high quality videos with your phone. I walk you through the different types of camera equipment that you can use in order to to shoot great videos. If your videos are blurry or foggy, then your content is actually telling your audience, I don't have clear vision, so you don't wanna stay here. Why do we say that? Because I want you to like cross your eyes right now, like cross your eyes and try to look. I don't know if I did it, but you can't really see, right? And so that's what's happening with your audience when they're looking at your content and it's blurry and it's foggy. It's also taking down the quality of your short-term rental business, right? If you have a vacation home, you want your audience to envision themselves on vacation in your space. They can't do that if they can't see clearly in your video. So luckily for you, this is actually a quick fix. I always share this tip, clean your phone camera lens clean your phone camera lens. If you clean it, then your videos will be nice and clear. So I like to use a wet wipe and a dry wipe. I want you to get into the habit of cleaning your phone camera lens at least two to three times a day so that every time you pick up your phone to shoot, your videos are nice and clear, welcoming and inviting so that your audience can envision themselves in your space having a clear mind. The last thing, if your videos are boring, that means your content is telling your audience you don't wanna stay here because it's going to be underwhelming. And nobody wants to book with a space that is underwhelming. I know for me, whenever I'm looking for an Airbnb because I wanna go on vacation, I wanna be wowed. I'm looking for modern features. I'm looking for elegant, furniture. So if your videos are boring, your audience is not going to be wowed and they're just going to scroll on by. And I share this in another video. I said there are 1.3 billion users on Instagram and 1 billion on TikTok. You want to attract your ideal customers by having content that is inviting, that is nice and brightly lit, that is clear so that they can envision themselves in this space clearly, and that is engaging. Now here's the thing, none of these things may be true about your business, but your audience doesn't know that when they're first meeting your content. That's why I ask, is your content bad mouthing you? So if you fix these tips, you can definitely start attracting your ideal customers so that they actually want to stay in your space. You want to remain top of mind and people will forget people whose content is bad mouthing them. Whew, great, now that we got that out the way, let's actually go into these five content ideas that's going to help your page stand out and attract who you want to attract. Content strategy number one, educational content. Oh, people love educational content. So educate people about your space, where they're staying, what can they do in the area, what should they know when it comes to booking for a vacation. Educating your audience is what's going to bring them in because now you're already doing the heavy lifting. I love how-to videos. I love sharing tutorials with my audience because this helps to show you as the authority in your space. The second content strategy tip is behind the scenes or BTS videos. These videos are awesome because now you're bringing people into your space. You're giving them exclusive access 
behind the curtains, letting them know how do you run your operations, what does your operations look like. A tour of your space would be nice, but don't just get caught up in only doing a tour. Add some talking to it. Make sure that you are actually inviting them in and showing them what it's like to be in your space. Notice that I keep on saying inviting because when you have a rental space, that's how you want your audience to feel. So if you want them to feel that way in your space, make them feel that way in your videos. Then you're gonna start seeing a difference in your booking. Content strategy number three is docu-style videos. I love these type of videos because they are heavy in B-roll, and don't worry, you're probably like, what is B-roll? B-roll is just additional footage without you talking on it that is helping to tell your story. B-roll could be anything between the trees blowing or walking outside or you waking up and sleeping in the bed, right? That is all B-roll footage and all you have to do is couple it with some voiceovers to tell your story. So docu-style videos is also another piece of educational content, but it's super engaging because it brings your audience right in and it holds their attention. You can do this with your short-term rental space as a way to develop diversify your content. And then number four, inspirational videos. Inspire your audience, motivate them. I'm telling you, some people, their days are so hard. Some people, they don't feel like getting up and going. But now when they go on Instagram or when they go on TikTok and they come to your page, there you are motivating them, inspiring them and letting them know, one, they have a space that they can escape to if they want to, and two, they can get through the day. You will become their favorite vacation rental. Before someone actually becomes your customer, they need to be your follower and they need to be a loyal and engaged follower. And you can do that with inspirational videos. Are you loving all these tips? So far, I already gave you four content ideas that's gonna elevate your brand, position your brand, and call and attract your ideal customers. And now, for number five, a social media strategy for short-term rental businesses is personal stories. Oh, share your personal stories. How did you get into this business? Why did you wanna start this business? Why did you choose to do vacation over workspaces or workspaces over vacation? Or why do you have a photo studio? Share these stories with your audience so that they can know you. This is how you drive deep relationships. This is how you foster great relationships with your audience. Share those moments when you felt like giving up. Share those moments when you overcame a big fear. Your audience will appreciate you for this and then they will feel like that they know you. And when they feel like they know you, that means they trust you and they will actually book with you over your competitor. There you have it. Uh, uh, uh. There you have it. Uh, uh, uh. It's your turn. <laughs> what are you gonna do with the information that I shared with you? Take action, why? Because action takers are money makers, not time wasters. And you would have completely wasted your time if you sat and watched this 10 to 15 minute video and then did nothing with it. These content ideas are going to work for you. So I wanna know from you, let me know in the comments, which idea are you going to implement first? Is it one, two, three, four, or five? You can just drop that in the comments because I wanna see if this is actually helping you. And if you put it into play and you're starting to notice results, let let me know that as well. In my next video, I'm actually gonna share with you five biggest mistakes that I see short-term rental businesses making on social media and how to fix them. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can get notifications when I drop my videos every Wednesday.